gets his claim to start him. I don't know anybody else that's had six bankruptcies. Breaking out on the campaign trail, a battle of the billionaires. This is WSJ Campaign Fight Club. The latest matchup is between famous billionaire businessman and wealthy presidential candidate Donald Trump. Trump says he wants to run the nation like he's running his business? God help us. Billionaires Michael Bloomberg, Warren Buffett, and Mark Cuban all criticized Trump's business record in the past week, attacking the candidate's central argument for why he should be president. What you don't do, you don't ask daddy for a small loan of a million dollars. That's not what entrepreneurs do. In Pittsburgh, Cuban chastised Trump's entrepreneurial experience. In Philadelphia, Bloomberg rebuked Trump's track record on live TV. I'm a New Yorker. And I know a con when I see one. And in Omaha, Buffett challenged Trump to release his tax returns, suggesting there's a reason why he hasn't done so yet. You're only afraid if you got something to be afraid about. <laughs> now, Trump regularly states that he isn't releasing his taxes due to a routine audit. And here's how he responded to Buffett's challenge on Fox Business Network. Well, I don't care much about Warren Buffett. And in response to Bloomberg, who Trump once considered a friend, Trump said this on ABC's This Week. Michael Bloomberg's wanted to run for president for probably as long as you've known him. And guess what? He never had the guts to do it. And now I see this guy up on stage saying negative things. He knows nothing about me. He's never been to my office. I don't know him well. We played golf together. Oh, maybe once. Here's I, what he hits you hit on the in ball, the speech. And I hit the ball a lot longer, a lot better. While the billionaire feuds could hurt Trump's credibility when it comes to being a businessman, they could also pose a risk for Hillary Clinton. After the end of the Democratic National Convention, Trump tweeted, Hillary will never reform Wall Street. She is owned by Wall Street. 